like you. And if you don't think you have to be sharp and you have to have your stuff together and you think you don't have to market yourself, or we're going to talk about that, if you think you can just casual up there and, and be on your phone, we had a girl do this. I'm not kidding you, man. She, she was on her phone talking in the weight room to be interviewed for this job. She was just, just talking, just talking. And then she had the audacity to do this. So she was talking. And I was there, one of my workers was there. Uh, yeah, go. Oh. I was oh, tired. No. <laughs> I, I told my, my staff person, I said, why don't you send her home? Which, two weeks after getting the paid work experience, that's where we pay you and the floor trains you, uh, she had an altercation. Of course, her story was different than the, her manager. I don't know why that always is. We talking about the same girl? But anyway, um, and she ended up getting fired, okay? You've got to be on top of your game. You cannot casually go up and just, I don't care, and be talking to your gun. And, and uh, we've had people leave a job training and they carry their girlfriend with them to the interview. On the phone and all that kind of stuff. You've got to be sharp. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to do a 15 second evaluation of someone coming in the door. Because that's about all it takes. <clears throat> and in second Saturday, in March 2009, I interviewed people from 8 in the morning till 9 at night. Had no lunch, had two Dr. Peppers and two bottles of water. We had over 400 people interviewing for a job. And I am not kidding you. I had my table right here, and the, the, the little tour person, this guy, you know, brought the person by, and it did not take me those 10 feet the size of that. Who are you prejudging? That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Just their presence and their attitude and how they conducted themselves. I figured out real quick if it was going to be a one question interview or a five question interview. You got to know how to carry yourself, present yourself, how to shake your hand. I stopped by an employer today. Um, I was kind of looking for a side job and I put my resume in and I, I was wearing this. <clears throat> I don't usually, I'm, I'm like dying. <laughs> Cuts off circulation. But I, I went to this place and I treated that receptionist like she was the CEO. I put in a job application for one of the weekend da, 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 positions and I was just going to stop by and say, I'd say hi to HR and see if they got my resume. I was just right in the territory. And I really was. I was right across the street. But I treated that receptionist like she was the hiring manager. Why did I do that? That's oh, right. not because she's pretty. Ah. It's my, huh? It's my baby. They will ask. Here's what employers do. You're the front desk receptionist and I come in. Y'all hiring? You be fill us out here? Hang on. And they're just like talking down to this person and they turn in an application, you know, and you have to go, well, you need to fill this out, fill this out. So you need, this is not complete, sir. And, and I'm giving her grief. You know what she's gonna do? Put it in the shirt. Well, no, she's gonna take, how is this person? Well, they, they come in, pants are sagging, dragging. Pitiful attitude, answer your cell phone twice, um, chewing his gum, didn't complete. What do you think he's going to do to it? Yeah. Some companies call that a suggestion box, but yeah, it's a shredder. Okay? That's the exact, you've got it. Everyone you need, like everyone. Yes, sir. Uh,